hello everyone in this session we will continue the uh, distribution factor so here we should discuss some problem about this a three phase 50h star connected alternator with double layer winding is running at 600 rpm it has 12 turns per coil four slot per pole per phase coil pitch of 10 slots if the flux per pole is 0.035 weber it is sinusoidal distributed then the question is first emf for phase and second is line emf for phase so we should find out the emf one phase emf another one is the line emf so here the machine is running with 600 rpm so that's why n value equal to 600 and turns number of turns per coil it has 12 12 turns per coil that means it has turns per coil means simply like this so generally this is the one coil and this is the second turn this is the third turn like this like that we have the 12 turns per coil and next so another thing is flux per pole per pole it has 0 0.035 weber okay this is this thing and he doesn't given so we can find out the total slots uh, he is given sl next slots per pole per phase value is 4 so from this we will find out slots per pole equal to 4 into 3 into 3 12 and we don't know how many poles are here so first we should find out the poles so for that poles simply generally gen speed equal to p phi n z by uh, generally fit. speed we can write for alternator equal to 120 f by p 120 f by p here he mentioned speed value is the 600 and this is the 120 we know frequency value is the 50 we should find out the number of poles here 120 into 50 by 600 so from this we can find out 6 2 ja 2 into 5 means 10 then slot per pole is 12 now we can find out slots number of slots equal to 12 12 into 10 why 10 here number of poles are we are getting 10 poles are we are getting 10 so you will get number of slots are 120 number of slots are 120 so now what is our requirement our requirement now we should find out number of coils you mentioned turns but turns for coil so uh, we should find out the turns but he given turns per coil turns per coil first we should find out how many coils are available how many coils are available so for that purpose so for that purpose first we should write it is a double layer winding so generally it is a double layer winding double layer winding in the double layer winding itself number of coils equal to number of slots this is the number of slots here number of coils equal number of slots here the coils equal to slots is 120 slots is simply 120 okay here we are getting coils but what is our requirement but what is number of turns now we should find out number of turns number of turns is 120 into 120 into 12 120 into 12 means we will get number of turns equal to not 12 so he mentioned 
how we are getting this number of turns simply right here turns per coil he mentioned 12 now we require only turns then number of turns into number of coils then we will get the 240 here 240 here okay this is total number of turns what is our requirement number of turns per phase per phase means 240 by 3 240 120 into 12 generally here 120 into 12 value is 2400 actually oh, sorry it is wrong actually 12 12 1440 actually right here also 1440 by 3 by 3 okay. 3 4 ja 12 3 8 ja 24 so total turns per phase is 480 here we are getting turns per phase per phase we are getting the 480 turns so it is somewhat somewhat a lengthy process actually he mentioned coil coil will be converted into the number of turns before that he mentioned a double layer winding like that so this is the 480 what is our requirement what is the slot angle slot angle equal like this poles into total 180 by slots number of slots here yeah, number of poles is 10 slot angle in 180 number of slots is 120 so by doing this we will get the 15 so finally we will getting slot angle also the 15 slot angle value is also 15 right now we should find out what is he is asking to find out? He is asking to find out the EMF for phase and line EMF. General EMF for phase for alternator formula is like this. The formula is 4.44 into pitch, short pitch factor into distribution factor flux into frequency into number of tons for phase. Number of tons for phase. So we have the flux per pole, frequency and turns per phase. But what is our requirement? Our requirement, short pitch factor and the distribution factor. Here, short pitch factor equaled, Kp equaled, cos alpha by 2. Here, cos alpha means 15 by 2. Cos 15 by 2 value is 0 0.965. 0 0.965. And what is another thing? KD. KD means the distribution factor. Here the formula is sine m gamma by 2. M sine gamma by 2. M sine gamma by 2. Here sine m gamma. Number of slots m. What is m here? He mentioned number of slots per pole per phase is m value is 4 generally m value is 4 and gamma equal to this gamma slot angle is 15 m gamma equal to 4 into 15 that is the 60 degrees so here sine 60 by 2 m value is 4 sine mm, sine gamma by 2 gamma by 2 means 15 by 2 so by doing the calculation we will get 0 0.957 0 0.957 just observe here pitch factor is less than 1 and distribution factor also the less than 1 this is the important thing because here why we are doing this why we are using the pitch factor and distribution factor means in order to avoid the harmonics generated by the alternator what is our requirement our requirement pure fundamental pure fundamental means pure sinusoidal that's why these values will be decreases these values will be decreases so next is so here next next thing we have to do is so we are finding all the things now we are applying in the formula we should apply in the formula so now directly we will use the formula formula is emf induced for phase 
formula is emf induced for phase that is e phase that e phase value equal 4.44 into kp kp value is short pitch factor is 0 0.965 0.965 kd value is 0.957 kd value is the 0.957 and flux per pole 5 value flux per pole he given 0.035 i think this is the value flux per pole is 0 0.035 0 0.035 next tons Tons per phase. So frequency, frequency is 50. Tons per phase value is the 480. 480. So by doing the calculation, we will get the phase voltage value is 3444.3 ohms. 3 ohms. So this is the phase EMF. So what is the line EMF? Generally, it is a three phase system, uh, and he mentioned it is a star connected alternator. Star connected alternator. So, three phase system generally, we are preferring the star connected. There is a relation between line EMF and phase EMF is like this line EMF and phase EMF is like this. That is the root 3 into phase EMF value is this. This is the value. So by doing the calculation, we will get the line EMF value is 5965 ohms. 5965 ohms. Okay. So this is about the procedure to find out the EMF induced by alternator by giving the sum terms. So here you have to keep in your mind the EMF equation. You, you can make it as a note the emf equation here the emf equation is emf equation is the most important thing generally you know in transformer this is the emf equation 4.44 into flux into frequency in turns but in case of alternator there is a winding is short pitched and as well as distributed the two factors will be entering that is the kp and the kd first we should find out the kp and then we should find out KD then we will doing the calculation okay so this is about a complete problem regarding the EMF generated by the alternator okay I hope all of you understand the session thank you